As per subscribers demand today we are going to solve class 3 IGQ 2023 set A question paper. So let's solve it together. First section is of journal awareness. Question 1. Which of the following animals is not extinct? Is it dodo, mammoth, platypus or saber-toothed cat? Now we have to find the one which is still existing. The right answer here is option C, platypus and there are around 300,000 platypus uh, in the world. Other A, B and D, they are already extinct. Question 2. Which of the following festivals is also called as Feast of Sacrifice? The right answer here is option B, Eid al Adha. This is known as Feast of Sacrifice and is the second and the largest of the two main holidays celebrated in Islam. Question 3. Who among the following studies about animals? Astronomer, florist, geologist or librarian? The right answer is option C. Geologist. Question 4. Select the incorrect statement. A. Pine, fir and deodor are con conifers. Yeah. This is right. They have needle-like uh, leaves and that is the speciality of conifers. B. Fleshy stem of cactus stores water in it. Absolutely correct. Mangroves grow in marshy areas. Absolutely correct. And D is none of these. So this is the right option for us because none of these are incorrect statement. Question 5. X is present in most parts of our body and it helps us to move and lift objects. X refers to, so what helps us to move and lift objects? The right answer here is option B, muscle. Question 6. Which of the following is not a medicinal plant? Tulsi, it is. Neem, it is. Garlic, it is. D, none of these. This is the right answer. Option D is the right option. Question 7. The dance form shown in the given picture is a folk dance of dash in India. What is this dance? This is Goomer and it is the folk dance of Rajasthan. Option A is the right answer. Question 8. Vande Matram. The national song of India was written by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. It first appeared in the book. The right answer here is Anand Mutt. And it was first published as a poem in this book in 1882. Question 9. Where would you find the famous monument shown in the given picture? Can you tell me which monument is this? This is Colosseum. And where it is? It is in Rome, Italy. The right answer is option A, Rome. Question 10. Which is the largest moon in the solar system? The right answer here is Ganymede. Jupiter's icy moon Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system, even bigger than the planet Mercury and the dwarf planet Pluto. Which among the following can be used to make body of pressure cooker? Is it metal, wood, plastic or none of these? The right answer is option A, metal. Question 12. Select the word that has the same meaning as the given word and the given word is ancient. Scared, brave, old or developed. Ancient means old. Option C is the right answer. Question 13. The cricket umpire shown in the given picture is signaling. What is it? Is it no ball, six run, out or leg before wicket? The right answer is option B, six run. Question 14. According to Hindu mytholo mythology, who is considered as the creator of the universe? Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu or Lord Ganesha? The right answer is option B, Lord Brahma. Question 15. Which is the natural source of air pollution? Volcanic eruptions, smoke from factories, smoke from vehicles or sewage from household? And the right answer is option A, volcanic eruptions because that is natural and others are from man. Question 16. Which of the following gemstones is red in color? Emerald, ruby, aquamarine or none of these? The right answer is option B, ruby and the picture is shown here. Which is added by me. It was not in the 
question paper question 17 which of the following helps in communicating or helps in communication through radio and television what is that is it satellite which helps in communication through radio and television or comet or asteroid or dwarf planet the right answer is option a satellite question 18 what instrument does peter play in peter pan was it pan flute pan trumpet pan guitar or none of these the right answer is option a pan flute question 19 which of the following devices can be used to convert images and printed text into digital form that means here scanning is happening and where is the scanner it is option b question 20 Some letters are given which are numbered as 1 2 3 4 5. Select the combination of numbers from the options so that the letters are arranged accordingly to form a meaningful English word. It is nothing but it is to unscramble these letters and form a meaningful word and then decode it in the numbers. So out of these letters what can we get? We can get rhyme R H Y M E And let's decode rhyme. R is four, H is one, Y is three, M is two, and E is five. We got our answer, and the right option is option C. Moving to the next section, that is of current affairs. Please be updated of the particular year current affairs when you are going to appear for the exam. Question twenty one. Who is the Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports in India? The right answer here is option A, Anurag Thakur. Question 22. National Girl Child Day is observed on dash in India. The National Girl Child Day is celebrated in India every year on January 24th. It was initiated in 2008 by the Ministry of Women and Child Development and the Government of India. to spread public awareness about inequalities that girls face in indian society option a is the right answer question 13 which country is hosting the icc world cup 2023 and the right answer is option a india question 24 who is the current president of ukraine and the right answer is option a volodymyr zelensky question 25 The latest rupees 20 denomination bank note has the motif of dash on the reserve. Can you guess it? It is Elora Caves. Option B. Go and check 20 rupees denomination bank note and then you will find Elora Caves motif in that. Moving to the next section that is of life skills. Question 26. Select the correct statement. Bullying others is a is a good way of showing respect wrong not listening to elders is a good way of showing respect no good manners are not important for showing respect not at all choosing your words carefully while talking and caring for others feelings is a sign of respect this is absolutely correct option d is the right answer question 27 good personal hygiene means keeping our house and surroundings clean no keeping ourselves clean and free from germs and dirt that is absolutely right because here we are talking about good personal hygiene it is about our body so option b is the right answer question 28 which of the following is a physical benefit of participating in sports team work time management stronger body or all of these the right answer is option d all of these these all are the benefits of participating in sports or being physically active question 29 which of the following is not a good table manner washing hands before coming to the table it's a good manner helping your mother in clearing the table at the end of the meal it's also a good manner watching tv and playing video games while the meal is being served No, it's not a good table manner. Not talking with your mouth full is also a good manner. So option C is not a good table manner. Question 30. Your friend goes out for shopping with his mother to a shopping mall. He gets lost in the crowd. What should he do? He should ask a stranger for help? No.
stranger danger he should go to any house nearby no he should ask the security guard there to make a call to his parents that seems right he should take a bus and go home that's wrong option c here is the right action to do moving to our last section that is of achievers section it holds double marks for each question question 31 which of the following cannot be found in the given word grid let's solve all a b c d and then we'll find a town where rohtang pass is located it is manali largest glacier in the world it is lambert a lake found in kerala it is vembanan a disease caused by polluted water it is cholera now let's go from left to right and we got vembanan then let's go from top to bottom we got manali we got kalra now the one which we have not found is option b largest glacier in the world so that is our answer question 32 which of the following is not matched correctly see the sport and answer it first is a picture and the answer is written is javelin throw is it right no it is not right because it is a discus throw second one seems like short put but it is written discus throw so again it is not matched correctly the third one is definitely javelin throw but it is written as short put it is also incorrect and the last one is hammer throw which is absolutely correctly depicted so the wrongly matched one are 1 2 and 3 option c is the right answer question 33 which of the following statements hold holds true about the given device what is this device this is the picture of motherboard statement 1 it is located inside the cpu cabin that's absolutely right statement 2 it is responsible for providing power to computer when main power for supply fails no that's wrong because that is the work of ups not of motherboard so only statement 1 holds true the right option is option a question 34 identify p q and r and select the correct option p is a land of thousand lakes the right answer is finland q is capital of turkey the right answer is ankara R is currency of Thailand. Answer is Bhutan. So P as Finland, Q as Ankara, and R is a uh, Bhutan. The right option is option A. Question thirty-five. If two honey bottles plus one bread is equal to rupees one twenty-five, one bread plus one butter plus one ketchup is equal to rupees one thirty-five, and one butter. Plus ketchup is equal to rupees hundred and ten. Then find the cost of your uh, honey plus butter plus one ketchup. So we what do we know? We know butter plus ketchup is equal to hundred and ten. So we can put the value of butter plus ketchup in the second equation. How? Let me show you this way. So bread plus hundred and ten is equal to rupees hundred and thirty-five. What would be the cost of bread? It will be one thirty-five minus hundred and ten, which is equal to rupees twenty-five. Now we will put the cost of bread in equation one. How? This way. So two honey bottles plus rupees twenty-five is equal to rupees one twenty-five. So what would be the cost of one honey bottle? It would be hundred minus hundred divided by two. That is equal to fifty. If two honey bottles cost hundred rupees, one honey bottle will cost fifty rupees. So we got the value of honey bottle, and also we know the value of butter plus ketchup. So the final cost would be fifty plus hundred and ten, which is equal to one sixty rupees. Our right option is option D. Rupees one sixty. With this, we have successfully solved Class Three IJQ twenty twenty three set A question paper. Keep solving these question papers, be it this year or previous year, because it is going to really help you in acing your Olympiad exams.
stay posted stay tuned to kids funzy laugh and learn if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and share with your friends and family happy learning bye bye